everybody, hello YouTube. Today I am going to show you how to customize your Chrome background. Your Google Chrome background, because, you know, the old theme, the default I should say, check it out, it's just boring, right? It's white and gray, it's ugly, man, it's ugly. So, what you're going to do is, I already have a bunch of apps installed here, um, but when you... Um, first download Google Chrome, it comes with a couple of default apps, including a uh, Chrome Web Store, Google Docs, Google Drive, Google Search, Gmail, YouTube, and I think it comes with Google Plus, I don't know. But anyways, um, no, I actually, no, it doesn't come with Google Plus. So you want to click on, um, Chrome Web Store, and I'll just do that again. It's, um, it's this one. You want to click on that, and it says Chrome Web Store under it, and uh, you wanna in this search box right here, you wanna type in my Chrome theme. theme. It's hit enter, and you want um, and it should come up with a bunch of apps, and you want to um, you want uh to hit this one called um my chrome theme by chrome.google.com it has to be by chrome.google.com or else this will not work so hit add to chrome yes add etc etc and it's just downloading and yes and so you have this app which looks somewhat like this you close this one off and you're gonna tap it now what you want to do is um you're gonna start off, um, you're gonna hit start making theme, and the first step is to either upload an image or use your webcam to take a photograph. If you have a webcam, that is, um, I do, but I'm gonna upload an image. So, let's say, um, let's go to my pictures. Let's go to Chrome Photo, Google Products. Um, uh, where, yeah, I like I like this photo. It's good for a Chrome background. So you're gonna upload it, and you can do image effects. So that's Creative Kit in there. Um, you can import a new image if you don't like it, or you can adjust the position. I'm gonna keep it how it is though. So once you're done that, you can continue to step two this button right here um and there's a couple things you do here the first one is you add some color and you can do that by either adding color or um just manually adding color and the other thing is hitting i'm feeling lucky now for those of you who use google as your default search engine you probably know what i'm feeling lucky is it's a feature added that was added to google and it's basically a recommend recommendation thing i think um that's definitely how it works here. So if you hit I'm feeling lucky, it uh, gives your um, you a default theme. And another thing that I like to do is um, switch this thing between design mode and preview mode. Because you can see what it would look like with um, apps on it. I think you have to go back to uh, step two though to do that. So, preview mode, yeah. And if you hit I'm feeling lucky, there you go, see, it's it's nice. Um, except for the I'm feeling lucky, they put the old apps, the old version of the apps. So anyways, um, you can hit, uh, you want to give your uh, theme a name, so I'm going to call this one, um, I don't know, um, ah, it's got a Windows logo on it, I might just call it Windows 7, because it's a nice Windows 7 background, and make my theme. So it'll say generating theme, and there's two things you can do. You can share the theme, and, it, and it's just generating the URL right now, which is actually pretty cool, I think. Um, so this is your um, uh, URL for the theme. And um, if you want to share that, you could just copy it and paste it and say like an email or on social media. But I don't want to do that, so I'm going to undo sharing. And then what you're going to do is, um, if you just want to install it, click install my theme. Sorry that I'm a bit nasally, I sort of have, um, 
a bit of a cold. Uh, you're gonna hit continue because it has nothing in it, right? Because you made it. So, yeah, don't have to worry about viruses or hacks or anything like that. And so, once it says add, and then say the name of your theme, in which case mine is Windows 7, you're gonna hit add. And it should automatically install your theme. And it'll say a message like install theme windows 7 and undo don't press that because it's just gonna undo everything you just did um but here you have a nice theme you have the toolbar all, or the um yeah yeah new tab toolbar all set up and everything um but a couple things that i just want to mention i don't recommend putting um you really have to be careful with the photo that you upload because if you upload a photo, like say an iPod Touch, I've done this before, it, um, because you know the apps on the iPod Touch? Well, I zoomed into the image so much that they look roughly the same as the Chrome apps. Because, like, look at the shape of the Google search. It's just like an iOS app. Like, look at it. And so I zoomed into the, um, iPod Touch too much. And so it looked like there was, um, a YouTube app. And I was just like, how did I get that? Because, you know, it's different for, um, the iOS is different for, um, it's, it's like a different, uh, logo, right? So anyways, um, I don't recommend putting in something like an iPod Touch and zooming it in too much. Um, but I guess that sums up the video. Thanks for watching and, um, happy Chrome theme making.